Hey, Stola. The adjustments are going well, I hope. Tis a lengthy process, but the end is in sight, yes. That's wonderful news. I myself had some good fortune searching through the Sartrap's private records. What I found was a transaction log dated around the same period as when Alzadal's legacy was built. It included a purchase list of highly exclusive alchemical components. And I knew I'd discovered the key to making the artificial atomos. I then visited the High Crucible to commission the materials. After I'd explained my requirements, I was beset by volunteers insisting I allow them to help with the entire project. The usual reaction to someone forcing open a void gate is to run for the hills. Harnish academics certainly are a different breed. The alchemists of old were cut from a similar cloth. The unknown held no fear for them. Indeed. They were ever eager to seek new knowledge, regardless of the danger. And were you not also fearless, heedless even, in your determination? My sire entered his dormancy before I was hatched. And so it was Ashdaya who kept my eggs safe and warm. created a bond between us. Even long after I learned to fend for myself, I rarely strayed from her side. She was my guardian, my sister, my dear companion. And not a single day passes that I do not mourn her absence. No matter how deep the darkness, I would not surrender my search. I promised myself the time would come when we would once more take to the skies together. But I am satrap now. The Radiant Host is here to serve, Your Excellency. Nabdeen, what is this about? Sir Estinian told us of your predicament. For centuries you have protected Rads at Han, never showing your true self, hiding behind a curtain and living only in service to the people. Your dedication meant more to us than your deceit, and so did we accept you as our rightful ruler. After all that you have sacrificed for this nation, did you imagine we would begrudge you your heart's desire? We survived the final days. We are a strong and proud people. We, the Radiant Host, will keep Thavnir safe in your absence. I am grateful for your loyalty and for your encouragement, and yet... Now you listen to me, Varshan! You are wearing that face, after all. As I have told you before, you are a little brother to us all. And if you are family, then so too is your sister. We are there for you if you need us. But do not ask us to sit by and watch while you abandon a sibling you have ached to rescue for millennia. succeed in opening the way. It is only a matter of time. All you need do is prepare to step through to the other side.
Your Excellency, I wanted to thank you for building the orphanage. It means so much that my sister and I will have a place to be together, safe and happy. And I hope that you and your sister can be together again too. You're saying I should seize this chance. Take heart and protect them well. Such were the words I once said to you, and here I stand failing to live up to them. If my heart is torn, I am fit to protect neither Ajdaya nor Radzat Han. My people, I have come to a decision. Vashan will depart Thavne for a time. My dragon self will remain in the palace, but only to conduct the satrap's most essential duties. While I am focused on controlling this vessel, there may be matters that escape my attention. I rely on you my trusted friends, to watch over one another until I return. Take care and fair fortune, little brother. Many tears would be shed should you come to harm. I would not dare make you cry. <laughs> 